Hello, I'm Tilly and this is week 11 of Five Pound Friday and this week I've been to Lidl's. Now, if you haven't been following along, I'll quickly explain what a fri Five Pound Friday is all about. It's all about starting prepping and if you haven't started already, it can be a bit overwhelming, can't it, to, to actually just get started. But if you start putting just a little bit away each week, it can be a pound or two pound, three pound, four pound, whatever you want to put away, whatever you can afford to put away and just put it in a little cupboard, in a box, under your bed, anywhere that you want or you've got space to put it and keep it for when things go a little bit wrong because they always do sometimes in life, don't they? There's always things crop up where we're a bit short of money for a, a week or a month or, or even longer. Sometimes we can't get a hold of certain foods because of everything that's going on. The prices are going up all the time. So it's really, really helpful to just put a little bit away just for a rainy day, like our parents did and our grandparents did because they was always short of food during all the, the war and all the things that they used to put away just for when, when things get a little bit difficult. So we're kind of going back to those times, aren't we? Where we're trying to just put things away and have things in a store, in our pantry or in our box under the bed. So every week I'm trying to put away about five pounds worth of stuff. It's not always going to be five pound, but round there, round about five pound. And as I said, this week it is four pound 88 and I went to Lidl. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've got this week. Um, next week, obviously this is week 11, next week will be week 12. So I'll be showing you again. I, t I tend to show every four weeks exactly how much we've got on the prepping shelf for five pound Friday. And it's really building up nicely. So next week I'll be showing you that. But for now, I'm gonna flip the video around and show you exactly what I've got here today. So for my £4.88 this week, I have bought the Newgate gravy granules for £1.09. pence. That's for 300 grams. And this is great gravy granules. It's really good. It's definitely on the par with the bigger brands like the Bisto. Um, I found that Bisto and those big brands have gone up so much. It's a long time since I bought the, the bigger brands now because these Cheaper brands are just just as good. So I've got the tea bags, the green tea, Knightsbridge, 65p for 40 tea bags. I got two of those because we definitely don't want to be running out of our tea bags. We have the this green tea and Yorkshire tea if we're having normal tea. Um, and it's the two that I really prefer. Now, this is the cheapest by far for the green tea that I've found anywhere. Now, and it's also, it's gone up by 10p in the last few weeks. So I got corn flour for £1.19 for 400 grams. That's great for thickening up soups and stews and anything that you need thickening up. And two tins of evaporated milk, the Dairy Manor evaporated milk. And again, this is just as good as the high brand ones, but a lot cheaper. They're 65 pence per tin, and that's a 410 gram. So two of those, and that's my five pound Friday for this week, or it was four pound 88 from Lidl's. So do let us know what you're buying for your £5 Friday and I do hope you join in. I'll leave the playlist for the rest of the videos underneath this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.